Hi again. In A.T. Robertson, The Divinity of Christ in the Gospel of John, page 136, based on John 18, Peter's Downfall. All the Gospels tell this sad story, giving three denials, but in varying order. It is not possible to relate them clearly to the examination before Annas and Caiaphas. They covered some time since Luke notes an hour between the second and third denial. Peter and John rallied from their flight and fright, first of the eleven, and followed Jesus on to the house of the high priest Caiaphas. But Peter, afar off, John, that other disciple, known to the high priest, entered with Jesus into the court of the high priest. It is quite possible that Annas also had rooms in the house of Caiaphas. If so, the denials of Peter were in this building where both Annas and Caiaphas lived, and John and the, and, and the synoptists do, do not disagree as to the place. The case of Peter is almost tragic. He had tried to kill a man in defense of Jesus and then fled in spite of his boast. He came back but followed afar off. He lingers at the door outside, unable to get in, till John, the other disciple, the acquaintance of the high priest, note the circumlocution to avoid his name, went out and spoke to the, the portress. I guess that's a female porter. This maid, knowing John and letting Peter in at his request, had good reason to suspect Peter's connection with Jesus. Her question politely expects the answer, no, though she thought yes and had a decided fling at Jesus in saying, this man. Caught off his guard and helped on by the very form of the maid's question and his desire for secrecy, he said the fatal words of denial. Inside the quadrangle, the servants and the officers who had helped arrest Jesus were warming themselves by the fire which they had made, for it was cold. Twice John notes, that is in John 18, verses 18 and 25, that Peter was also warming himself. Again, on a general accusation, he denied being a disciple of Jesus. The synoptics reverse the order of these two denials, but all agree in the order of the third and climacteric one. Mark speaks of the cock crowing at this juncture. Probably Peter hid himself for an hour, but could not stay away, for yonder was Jesus on trial, in the room above the quadrangle where the Sanhedrin sat. John had gone on into the room. So Peter came back, and one after another, men and maids charged him with being a Galilean, as shown by his speech. But it was the sharp, close query of a kinsman of Malchus, Did not I see thee in the garden with him? That through Peter completely off his balance. He lost his temper, as we say, and cursed and swore to prove his lack of acquaintance with Jesus. The cock crew the second time. Jesus turned and looked at Peter, according to Luke 22, verse 61. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus and went out with a broken heart, weeping bitterly. But it was done. It is not hard to see the steps of his downfall. They're plain enough as are the steps downhill which any disciple may take. Judas had, has betrayed Jesus, Peter has denied him, the devil is sifting them all. John alone is now with Jesus. But Jesus stands before his accusers undaunted in spite of this added blow from Simon Peter, his trusted lieutenant. Now he has a, a short subhead, Jesus before Caiaphas, the supplementary character of the fourth gospel is again illustrated at this point. He gives no details at all of the trial before Caiaphas and the Sanhedrin, and merely alludes to the fact as if to refer his readers to the synoptic gospels for the story of this phase of the subject. All that is here, all that is here, taken for granted, indeed. But for Matthew, we should not know that there were two hearings before the Sanhedrin, one at night when the real examination took place, the other after dawn to ratify the illegal decision already reached. Luke gives only this phase of the trial. The only item in John's one sentence to note is that Jesus is said to have been bound again before being sent to Caiaphas. This implies that he was set free during the hearing before Annas. I'll put in a link to the playlist 
John for Jehovah's Witnesses. See you soon.